Hey, what's up everyone? This is DC SG81. Today we will look into the latest SHV Gods Captain Marvel. Okay, so this is the latest uh, release by uh, SHV Gods for the uh, Marvel line, which is uh, Captain Marvel. And uh, I will say um, I'm lacking this packaging a lot. I think a few of you who have seen the the my pictures on the package, they uh they say that it is a good packaging. So uh, let's look into the package now. So it comes with the same uh window box where you can look at the figure inside, and um, there's a Captain Marvel from Bandai Tamashi Nation. And the side here, there's nothing much. And then from the side here, we can see uh, Brie Larson's as a Captain Marvel. And then from here, you can see some very simple arts of the figures. Uh, some of you may or may not know that this head scarf is, actu is actually the revised one. The previous one, uh, I have also shared in my Instagram where you can see the picture right now. It was uh, different from whatever it was uh, promoted during the first pre-order. So they ch actually changed to this one now. So let's take a look if it's as good as it is or is even worse. Okay, let's unbox it now. Okay, so this is the figure right out of the box. And of course, Goose the cat doesn't come with it. I just put it as a decoration. So let's take a closer look. Okay, the most important of all, I think everyone of us actually uh, worry about is actually the head sculpt, whether it has been changed to a better one or the worse one. Um, I would say that uh, it's actually looking pretty good, but uh, I really don't see... Uh, it, it does have a bit of a Brie Larson resemblance there, but <laughs> it's not very much. But it's still a very good head sculpt. And uh, yeah, you can see the the mold actually is not very visible, but it's there. This is like uh, the signature <laughs> uh, features of uh, Brie Larson. And uh, the hair, you can actually see there's a line here. It was as if like they actually give her some other face to exchange. But somehow maybe they abandoned the idea and just give this uh, normal looking face without any interchangeable face plate. So, but you can really see that they didn't really sculpt it as a piece if they intended to just give one face, but they, they do give some, you know, that some line like it allows you to pull off and change the face. But in the end, it doesn't happen. So I wonder why. Maybe it's due to some license. Okay, so take a look at the costume, which uh, as always, uh, I think um, SHV Gods did a pretty well job with the costume. Uh, when I first open it up, it doesn't. It looks pretty dull. I mean, there's no glossiness. But right now, I, if you put under the lights, it's it's actually reflecting some of the. The lights pretty well, and it does look a little bit glossy, glossy as you can see right now. Okay, the rest of it looks, pretty well. And the hair, actually, I I was expecting a lot more. Uh, sculpture but it, it isn't so it's a little bit disappointing here but it still looks good I hope it doesn't uh, hinder the articulation mass much so now let's take a look at the articulations okay for her neck joint she can actually look down this much but due to the hair that hinders the articulation she can't look up much she can then look straight and she can turn to her right this much also due to the hair she can't turn all the way and she can turn to her left this much as you can see in this picture and she have a pretty well up joint that she can actually bend down this much and also she can actually bend up a lot more than i expected we have very good elbow joint where she can actually bend more than 90 degrees but she doesn't have any arm shovel so she can still do this and her arms can actually go all the way up without any issue. 
her leg can actually split more than 90 degrees, almost a straight line. And she can kick out this much, as you can see, about 90 degrees. And her knee joint can turn more than 90 degrees, just like her elbow joint. And lastly, we can see some leg and toes pivot. Okay, so let's take a look at the accessory. This Captain Marvel doesn't come with much accessory. As you can see, there's only three pairs of hands, one interchangeable head and a, a pair of uh, flame effects for the hands. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, Goose the cat doesn't come with it. I just put it there for decoration purposes. Now let's take a closer look at each and every one of the accessories. Firstly, she have a pair of fist hand that comes on the figure. And then she have a pair of relaxed hand for interchange. And lastly, she has a pair of high five hand that is also for interchange. And then uh, it comes with the uh, flame effect pass for the fist hand. And lastly, of course, the mask head for interchange as well. Okay, before we go into the size comparison, I would like to show you guys how to put on the flame effects because uh, I find the instruction paper um, doesn't really help. And uh, so I figure it out myself. But it's actually. Um, the effects part are pretty different. If I'm not sure if you can see it from my side here. Uh, for this one, you can see there's a shorter flame and there's a longer, uh, slightly longer flame here. And for this one, you will see there's actually three, three flames coming down. So one, two, and there's another one here. They are both almost the same uh, length. As compared to this one, you can see it's pretty obvious that this one is a longer one. So this is actually for the uh, the right hand. Uh, you might be asking, how do I know? I uh, actually just try. It doesn't really fit uh, both hands for each one of them because I find uh, I mentioned that I figured it out because I I find that if I do it this way, it's actually fit much better. As you can see, it's easier to fit. So the other one. Sorry about that. So the other one actually, you can actually just put it in. Uh, pretty much easier. Okay. So this is what I found out. Uh, from for myself, the instruction, uh, is showing both the same shape. You just put it in, but it doesn't works when I try to interchange them. So, uh. Yeah, so this is what I found out. I hope uh, you are getting the same one as mine, so you, you will have a better idea which one goes to which. Okay, for the size comparison, I will compare her to the uh, the same SHP Gross counterpart, uh, which is the Iron Man Mark 50, as well as the uh, Captain America. Both are from Infinity War, and the head scalp of these are custom from Manipulse. Coming up next, we have the Amazing Spider-Man from Mayfax as well as Thor Ragnarok from Mesco. Next, we have the um, Doctor Strange from SHP Guas with the custom kit from CJ Isim as well as the uh, Star-Lord from SHP Guas as well, uh, the Infinity War version. So the reason why I'm showing them is because these two men are actually considered uh, very short as compared to their counterpart so that's why i'm showing to sh to just to show you guys uh, how he scale with uh captain marvel right up next we have the uh, shp quartz black widows as well as the warps from marvel legends up next we have the shp quartz hub from infinity war as well as the shp quartz uh, Thanos from infinity war and then we will have the Assaulter Soldier from Dam Toys as well as the T-800 from Great Twins. And lastly, I know this is what everyone been waiting for, is the comparison with herself from uh, Marvel Legend. This is the Marvel Legend Captain Marvel in her binary form as well as the uh, Captain Marvel in the Star Force version. Both are actually uh, Walmart exclusive. Okay, so my final verdicts for this figure is uh, Actually, uh, not very good because of several reasons. The very first is, of course, the head sculpt itself. Uh, I am not saying that this is a bad head sculpt. It's actually very refined. Uh, it's very, very good for a 112 scale figure. 
you can see everything is very very detailed but the likeness for pre rasen is actually not really there i would just say maybe it's around 70 percent you can see her so yeah so this is a little bit disappointing and uh, secondly is i found the upper torso is actually smaller than her abdomen so it sort of like makes making her looks like you know this part is small and then this part is bigger it looks like uh, she's like a uh, fat or something you know have a big tummy so yeah this is the second one and then the third one is actually uh um there's no interchangeable face there's only one face uh as i mentioned earlier i think they really wanted to give additional face because you can really see the hair piece can be pulled out but i don't know why they end up ended up with just one head of course they did give another piece of head which is uh I would say it's okay, but uh, if you have the uh, Marvel Legend one, you maybe you can think. I mean, you can feel that that one is maybe better in uh, compared to this. Okay, so yeah, so uh, of course the articulation is always good as for SHV figures. Uh, figure. So yeah, so other than that, um, I would just give this. Uh, figure a score of 7 out of 10 yeah so yeah the lack of accessories as well is part of the reason because he, he just come with uh, three pairs of hands and these effects and just another head and there's no faces interchangeable I mean effects parts I'm not sure maybe they can give uh, if I'm not wrong there's a there's a sword part that uh, Hot Toys actually give they can actually give that as well or maybe they should even give a goose which they didn't even bother to give one yeah so seven, 7 out of 10 is my score for this figure so yeah uh, that concludes my review video for captain marvel so click the like button if you like this review video uh, leave a comment below and let me know what do you think about this figure and also subscribe to my channel as i have new video up every single day and don't forget to check out my previous uh, review videos which uh, is in my playlist called uh, Review that you can check out my other reviews for uh, any other figures that I have uh, done so and also don't forget to share my uh, reviews with any of your friends who are actually interested uh, in this hobby as well okay so until then I'll talk to you soon bye